What's happening, man? It's your player partner, Dom with a spook, the Ross retainer. Fat ass bump on my forehead, you feel me? Still go go. <laughs> Still go go get it in, you feel what I'm saying? Hey, you know one thing I love about God and the connection to God and my angels? No matter how many times I fall, no matter how many times I relapse, God always let me know either through angel numbers, through synchronicities, through something, light codes, something, through my dreams. Do not give up. No matter how many times you fall, get back on the path. It's okay, my son. It's okay. It's okay. I'm still here with you. Don't give up. Because trust me, the blessings that I have for you is going to be worth it. You gonna get it right, trust me. You know, this is my what? Second going on third year doing this retention thing. And the one thing that I like really grown to love about this journey is the mentality that I've gained to keep going. I swear, bro, I, I, I'm really proud of myself, man. I'm really proud of myself. Y'all don't know how proud I am of myself, bro. I could have gave up. I could have been gave up. I could have been said, you know what, man? Forget retention. This is too hard. It's way too hard. Every time I relapse, I could have said, you know what? This is my last time. I'm done. Like, I, I done put in all that work only to be back at day one. I'm done. I just, bro. Y'all got to... I gotta thank God for that, but I also gotta thank God for putting my father in my life. That that kind of that father figure, that presence in my life. Man, my pops is the perfect example of not giving a fuck and keeping it going no matter how you feeling. Look, angel number right there. I'm telling you, bro, it's like Bro, I can't, bro. Even if I wanted to, bro, it's it's something inside of me. I, it's that spirit, bro. It's that Holy Spirit, man. It's that spirit. It's this energy, man. It's that it's that divine essence, bro. It's it's. I can't stop. I can't. I can't. I know it's people that's that's some. I know it's some subscribers, there's some supporters that be on my YouTube channel that be wanting me to stop. I know it's people that have been watching me that's wanting me to stop, bro. It's people that will subscribe to you that's waiting for you to fall. Because they think once you fall, once you relapse, once you release, they swear that you done. Like you can't get that energy back. They really think that once you fall off, like they'll watch you climb up, right? They'll, they'll, they'll see you feeling good. You know, feeling, feeling uh, high vibrational positive inspiring the world and this that and the third right and then once you get once you release oh they 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 rejoicing they happy than the motherfucker i seen i seen a lot of comments i seen some comments where they was like hi you lost your power laughing my ass off i laughed with you <laughs> it looked like you lost your power i laughed with you i'm like hell yeah i sure did <laughs> Hell yeah. It did. It's like one thing about me, bro. I know how to laugh at myself. I don't take, like, as much as I like, when I be talking my shit, when I be on a high ass, high vibrational state and all of that good shit, I do that because that's how I be feeling in the moment. Like, yes, I'm going to embrace it. I'm going to have fun with my energy. You feel me? It's just me. That's just my. That's just my personality. I'm not finna be a serious, uptight nigga all the time. Yeah, I'm gonna be dead to fuck serious majority of the time because I be focused. But I'm still gonna be silly, like nigga. I ain't finna be that damn uptight, like stuck up and shit. Hell no, nah, bro. I'm gonna have fun with this shit. Fuck. You will be having fun too if you get to them high shrieks. When you get to them two months. Hell, you don't even need two months. You really need like a month and a half you start feeling good like that. When you get to like 40 days, 50 days, 60 days and on up, 
bro, you're going to be feeling good like talking shit. I don't give a fuck who you are. Because that's when the spiritual attack's going to be coming and you overcoming that. Then your confidence going to be growing every fucking week. Every two weeks, your energy gets recycled. So you start feeling even better. Nigga, you just going to be feeling good. You could be going through a bad day, which is not really a bad day. And still gonna be feeling good Like bro Hell yeah I'm gonna talk shit The fuck I'm talking shit right now I'm on my first week This is just me man It's just my personality man Don't be mad at me man Don't be mad at me man Okay Don't be mad at me dog Alright This is just me man It's just nominal spoke man The Ross retainer Alright My voice is like this Cause I just relapsed This is how you gonna sound when you <laughs> Oh boy shit But yeah man This is just me but yeah, bro, I just left the gym, just got it in, feeling real good, real, real good. And as soon as I left there, I saw the most masculine eight angel number, the most complete angel numbers. I've been seeing hella angel numbers ever since I cut off that woman. Every, put it like this, bro. Every time I cut off people from my life and focus, that's when God starts speaking to me, bro. Every time Look They just spoke to me Every my, Bro I cannot I'm not lying bro I'm lying I'm dying bro Every time I cut off everybody And go into isolation mode That's when God speaks to me the most God do not speak to me When I'm in a relationship God don't speak to me When I'm talking to women God don't speak to me When I'm with, around people He only speaks to me When I'm to myself it's crazy. It's not crazy to me. It, it actually makes sense. And what I'm starting to realize is the first video I seen when I woke up from my dream, it was this person, right? He was talking to NLE Chopper when he was giving him a haircut. And he was basically uh, explaining to NLE that God will have blessings for you but until you get rid of people until you get a rid get rid of them things that needs to be getting rid of getting rid of you won't receive those blessings because those blessings are not meant for them people it's only meant for you and when you start evolving when you start you know going through your spiritual awakening people going to start dropping out of your life people going to start treating you differently they're going to start, you know, just side-eyeing you. You know, me, me, I learn something from my shrieks every time. Every time I go on a shriek. That's why I appreciate every day I go on a shriek. Every week I go on a shriek. Because I learn something new. That's why I love similar attention. You you learn something new every time you go on a shriek, right? So my last shriek that I went on, this this that was the most I ever went. I went on a five-month shriek before I relapsed. 150 days Damn proud of myself Hey, pat on the back, Dominic But look though So So What happened was During that five month streak around I want to say a month Maybe Maybe five Maybe around that fifth week So like 40 45 days That's when I noticed The spiritual attacks increasing Around Two weeks To four weeks that's when I seen, and this is from a spiritual sense. Physical, y'all, y'all should know by now. You gon' you gonna get stronger, you gonna get muscles fast, all that good stuff. But I'm talking about on a spirituality too. Around the second week to fourth week, that's when I started getting stares, like my presence was felt more. Um, choosing signals started arising from women because you know, women are way more tapped in spiritually than men. So I started getting more woman being receptive to my energy put it like this when i would go towards the building uh i would have women they'll be on their phone and then they'll look up and look directly at me that's that's another reason why i knew that i released because my presence wasn't being felt anymore you just know after a certain while that you retaining once you go on long streaks and then you go back to the uh short streak you know you you know you just know you know, like, okay, I released. But, um, nonetheless, uh, my spiritual attacks, 
they were very petty. I had I had so many petty spiritual attacks. I'm talking about from people unplugging my phone charger when it was charged in, my Apple Watch charger. Uh, what else was I getting? Um, people saying I was speeding on my electric pallet jack going to take a piss when my line that I'm working is damn near a whole two miles away from the bathroom and I'm trying to get to where I'm going and everybody rides the same speed that I ride. You can't go, you can only go a certain amount of speed, like the speed limit on the electric pallet jack. You can't go too damn fast. It was, it was just the fact that the man who snitched on me, he does not hit, he doesn't mind his business at all in the warehouse. Like at all. So, because he was low vibrational, he wanted everybody else, to, well, he wanted me to feel low vibrational with him because on the electric pallet jack, I'm smiling. I'm feeling good. I got a woman looking at me. The woman that he's probably admiring, looking at me and shit all on my dick. So it's just, you know, niggas be hating. That's how it is. That just how it is. You know what I mean? That just how it is. Niggas gonna hate on you. That just how it is. You just gotta flow with it. That just how it is. So, if you get on, this is another thing, man. If you think you're gonna get on retention and everybody gonna, people gonna love you. Don't get me wrong. People gonna fuck with you. They gonna like you. Like, people really gonna like you. Like, they really gonna love your energy, bro. They gonna be like, bro, there's something about this man that I love. Especially if you just got done releasing and then you go back on an extended streak, like a long ass streak, they gonna be wondering, like, bro, this nigga was not feeling like this the whole month. Like, I could just tell when you go on a long street, I can tell the motherfuckers that be looking at you like, bro, how the fuck did he just bounce back so quick in a month? I guarantee that's what niggas be thinking when they look at me like, bro, what the fuck? I was not feeling this shit a month ago. Now this nigga feeling like this? What the fuck? I know they be feeling like that. Like there is no way. Don't worry about that, man. It's design. See, another angel number. See, it's design. I know it. That's really what it is. Motherfuckers can't mind their business and they just be wondering, like, how in the fuck is this nigga feeling so good? And it ain't like he wearing something spectacular. I remember one time, right? When I had I had just this is the first time I went on the street. When I first went on a, a, a month of retention, right? I went to go get a haircut. And um this is back when I had a big ass app. Well, I didn't have a big ass afro. I had a little mini afro going. And um when I went in the barbershop, before I got my lining, I asked the dude there if uh if he had anybody that did locks, because I wanted to start off my uh, start off my locks, and he said, "Yeah, go back, uh, uh, go ask her." Now, at the time, I did not know that this is his wife. I swear, I did not know this is his girl, his lady. But I ain't gonna lie, I was in my ego like a motherfucker. I was feeling myself because I started experiencing the benefits for myself. So I'm like, oh shit, this shit real. Let me have fun with it, you feel me? And I noticed that, you know, I asked God for the spirit of discernment and God literally granted me that. And so, all I had to do was make eye contact with the person and I would know what the person wanted from me. So I made eye contact with that woman and when I kid y'all not, this woman looked, licked her lips at me when i say licked her lips i mean she licked her lips like she was ready to like eat me right there in front of everybody and i knew that I had bothered i embrace big change i'm ready for a big change i'm ready for a big change i'm sorry y'all i'm seeing a whole bunch of angel numbers right now so i have to say that because i know dante young said when you see this angel number that means a great change is coming a flood of a blessings coming your way and you should just affirm yourself you want that to happen so i embrace big change go ahead man you obviously want to get out there do your thing but um yeah so um what was i saying oh yeah so she looked at me like she was ready to eat me and the dude the dude like her man started looking at me right when i was getting my lining afterwards and shit and but he was looking at me like he was kind of like skeptic he was he was like this 
But he wasn't looking at me on some like jealous shit. Like he was trying to kill me or anything. He was looking at me like, what the fuck do this nigga got that I don't got? He was really looking like, because he felt my energy too. So he kind of looking like, what the fuck is it? So he, he looked at me from head to toe. And so as I'm getting my line and he like, uh, he like, throw some new shoes. I'm like, yeah. And then I told him what kind of shoes they was. And he was like, okay. And then he just kind of like, just left me alone after that. But the whole time in the back of my head, I'm like, nah, nigga, she ain't feeling me because of my shoes. She ain't look at me. She didn't like, if he was paying, if he was paying attention to his woman, she didn't look at my shoes. Like, it wasn't my shoes that she was digging. Like, she didn't look at my shoes and then licked her lips. Like, <laughs> I'm just saying, like, it wasn't that nigga. It was, <laughs> it was retention, my dog. It was retention, man. Retention. This I'm letting y'all know. This sacred energy. This 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 semen. It is dangerous. You will be able to attract any woman you want. Not any. I'm not gonna say every woman in the goddamn world. But nigga, you an attractive, handsome man, bro. You gonna be able to pull some women. Bad woman. Bad. Gorgeous, beauty faller, beauty faller, woman. You think the woman that you were attracting around your workplace or gym? Shit, yeah, all right. Hey, all I'm gonna say is don't sell yourself short, dog. Don't don't sell yourself short. Don't 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 pedestalize. Like you know how when you was a depleted uh motherfucker and you used to be beating your dick like a motherfucker, and then you used to go out in public and you used to be looking at women that was like, you know, had some has had a nice shape to them, like ass and titties and all of that stuff. And you used to think in the back of your head like, damn, man. Like you used to be scared to talk to her. Or you used to be like, damn, bro, I can't, I can't even pull her. But it, it wasn't even you. It was them demons that was on your ass. Like that was whooping your ass. And you was ashamed of yourself because you was beating your dick. You was doing something behind closed doors that you know you had no business doing. You know how you used to feel like that? Them women is going to be looking at you. Yeah, the, the fine ass woman that be up in the gym, that be looking good, wearing the tights, showing a little pussy print out, and you know, trust me, they gonna be around you. Just because you like they come around you and they get, not giving you eye contact, don't mean they not interested, dog. Trust me, they seen you before you seen them. They felt first of all, they felt you first. And then they, they already seen you. They seen you through the mirror. Women are goddamn, they they cats, my nigga. They, they know how to be seen without, they're like fucking ninjas, my dog. They just, they they detectives, bro. Like, they, they do their fucking homework before they, you know. Especially if you a fucking mystery and you, like, they don't know you. Like, they they, they go to that gym regularly. But you the mother, they, they, you the only motherfucker they don't know in the gym. You feel me? And then on top of that, you the only motherfucker that's feeling like they only feeling this energy from you. Every time you come in the building, they feel this shit from you. Hell yeah, they a tree. Hell yeah, they want you. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. What you mean? What you mean? <laughs> Hell yeah, they want you. Nigga, what the fuck? Come on, man. Don't be that goddamn. Come on, man. Don't be that goddamn stupid. You got, you got, man, you got yourself fucked up. You think they ain't fucked me? All right. That's why I I swear, that's why I don't be tripping, man. I don't trip. I don't trip. If a woman, if a woman cuts you off, if a woman, look, bro, don't, man, look, man. How I see it, I'm not married. I'm safe. I'm cool. I'm Gucci. Like, it's free game, nigga. And this how you got to look at it. Like, even if you in a relationship or you talking to any woman that uh, you taking a woman seriously, bro. When she leaves out in public or uh, social media or anything, it's free game, dog. It's free game. It's up to her to respect you enough to shut that shit down. But it's free game. You can't be mad at any nigga that... Get her number. Man, it's free game, dog. Play ball. 
Real shit. You better not be getting mad at her, man. You and, and, and stop selling yourself short. You know why you be so mad at that bitch? Cause you ain't focusing on yourself. You too worried about what the bitch doing. Worry about the wrong things. I said this early in my street. Hey, but the but hey, I ain't wanna make this video too long, even though it's a 20 minute video. I I just threw some gems in that motherfucker. I don't know. I'm just feeling good right now, man. Shout out to God. All glory be unto the most high. All praise to the most high. I will never, ever, 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 ever go back to my old ways. Fuck porn. Fuck corn. Fuck Lauren and all the mother bitches. You feel me? <laughs> I don't even know who Lauren is. Fuck her. <laughs> but hey, uh. Yeah, fuck all them hoes. Um, what else I was gonna say? Um, shit. Yeah, man, keep your power. Keep God first. Oh, yeah. And you finish how you start, my nigga. So if you start off weak, not going to the gym, not being consistent, you gonna finish off like that. Give yourself three weeks, man. It really take one month to complete the first phase but three weeks of consistency in the gym and now you got a healthy habit so give yourself three weeks of going to the gym the hardest part is showing up but once you start off i mean once you uh show up and get your blood flowing your body gonna be thanking you bro so give yourself three consistent weeks man start off today today is monday give yourself five days out of the seven days out of a week and just go consistently. Me, personally, I'm gonna start back doing two uh, two a day. So I'm gonna go in the morning, I'm gonna go in the evening. I'm gonna just do that shit, shit for three months. Well, I'm, I'm gonna do this for a year. I'm gonna do this for a whole year and just see see what happens. But in the meantime, in the between time, man, you finish how you start. I love you all. Shout out to all my supporters, man. Grind, grind, grind. Hustle, hustle, hustle. And um, yeah, keep your power, man. Love you all. Peace.